I have sheets here with project data. One sheet includes the overall project and the other sheet, project data, includes all of the tasks, the project they're related to, and the percent complete. I want to show you how you can write formulas to count how many tasks are in each project and then look at the average completion based on all of those tasks. For the count tasks, we're going to use a count if function. So to start off, we'll do the equal sign and then we'll start typing and we'll see here count if is an option. I'll click on it. I can open up the help information about this formula and it tells me I'm looking for the range. So what range do I want to look for and then what criteria will I use? So the range I want to look for is in the project data sheet. We want to look through all of the project numbers over here where the task data is and we want to look for this value here. And we'll see it's asking for the range and the criteria. So where am I looking for and what am I looking for? We'll start off by going to the where and it's in the project data tab. So I'll click on that and then select the project column. This is where we want to look for something, the where. Next, the criteria. What am I looking for? And for row three, I want to look for the value in cell A3. So once I've done that, I'll end parentheses and enter and I'll see my data there. We also have an average here. We'd like to average out and look at all of the tasks for this project and average out the completion rate. So we'll use an average if. Type average if open parenthesis. This one requires criteria range, the criterion, and then where what I want to average. So we're going to first look in the project column. The criteria we want to look for is, again, the project number in this row. A, so A3, and we want to average out the percents. So we'll end the parentheses and enter and we get our number here. Now we want a percent here, so I'm going to convert this into a percent by clicking on format as percent. And if I want to round up, I can remove some of the decimal points and I have my value there. Now the other thing is if you're using named ranges, data named ranges, this can make formulas easier. And since we have named our percent and our project columns, we can actually make these formulas even easier and reference the named values instead. So we can reference project instead of referencing that entire column. There's our count if. And in this formula, we can reference project and we can reference percent and we will make our formula much easier to use.